Welcome to this week's Sunday Club. Grab your family, grab a Bible, and let's have some fun together. In today's story from the Bible, we're going to be learning about what happened to Jesus at Easter. Now, parts of this story are a bit sad and can be a bit upsetting. But what's really important to remember is that God has a plan Jesus knew all of this was going to happen and that actually this story is really good news for us as Christians. Not mum's come back from the shops with a bag of donuts good news but save the world good news. Before we start our story James has got a game for you to play. I hope you enjoy it. Good morning. Today's game is a scavenger hunt. The first letter of each item will spell a word. The first item is an egg, the E. The second item is A for an apple. The second item is an S for soap. The third is T for tea bag. The fourth, it's another E, is an E for an envelope. And the last one is an R for a ruler. Did you find all the items on the scavenger hunt? Don't worry if you couldn't find the exact items, just find something else that starts with the right letter. While you were doing a scavenger hunt with James, I was doing my own hunt and I found all these Easter eggs. I'm really excited that I found these eggs because they are going to help me tell today's story. Let's have a look in the first egg. It's a green one. Who is in here? It's a high priest. After Jesus was arrested, he was taken to see the high priest. There were lots of really important people there. None of them liked Jesus. They were always trying to trick him into saying the wrong things and they weren't going to treat Jesus fairly. They just wanted to get rid of him. They'd gathered lots and lots of people and they'd asked witnesses to tell them about the things Jesus had been saying and doing. But these witnesses lied about Jesus. They told so many different lies, they just couldn't agree. So the high priest asked Jesus a direct question. Are you the son of God? And Jesus told the truth, like he always does. Yes, I am. Well, this made the high priest so angry, he tore his clothes. Goodness me. Let's see who's in the next egg. It's a yellow one. Oh, in this egg we have a man called Pontius Pilate. He was the Roman governor and after Jesus had seen the high priest they took him to see Pontius Pilate. Now Pontius Pilate had heard a bit about Jesus and he knew a lot about the high priests. So he asked the same questions that the high priest asked. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus told the truth. Yes, I am. Well, 
the high priest and the crowd were very angry and so Pontius Pilate asked them do you want me to free Jesus and the crowd shouted no so Pontius Pilate asked what has he done wrong the crowd couldn't answer this question because Jesus hadn't done anything wrong they just shouted boo get rid of him but Pontius Pilate was not a brave man he just wanted to keep the crowd happy so he told his soldiers to come and take Jesus away okay we've got a pink egg next in this egg oh we have a Roman soldier now the soldiers didn't know anything about Jesus they thought he was just a criminal like all of the other criminals so they were not very nice to him they hit him and they kicked him and they called him names as they took him to the place where he was going to die horrible soldiers our next egg is a blue one this is a really special symbol for Christians and it's a cross the soldiers put Jesus on the cross and they put two robbers on crosses either side of Jesus the soldiers continued to be really horrible to Jesus and even the robbers called Jesus horrible names people passing by saw Jesus on the cross and thought he was a criminal and shouted mean and unkind things to him the high priest came to see Jesus on the cross and laughed saying he saved others but he can't save himself if he really is the son of God let him come down off the cross The next egg is orange and it actually has three pictures inside it. The first picture is of darkness. While Jesus was on the cross, the whole country turned black. It was about midday, so about lunchtime, and the entire country went completely and totally dark. Our next picture is of a little boy shouting out. As Jesus was dying on the cross, he shouted out to God. He was all alone. He had done nothing wrong, but he was being punished. He cried out in a loud voice and then he died. The last thing in this egg is this piece of paper that I've torn into two. It represents the curtain in the temple. And when Jesus died, it tore in two, which showed us that Jesus dying on the cross means that there is no longer a barrier between us and God because Jesus died on the cross we can be much closer to God okay let's see what's in the last egg the last egg is a green one again and in it we have a picture of a tomb. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends came to collect his body. They took him and wrapped him gently in linen cloth and they took him away to bury him in a tomb. A tomb is a special cave that in those days people put their dead. And then they rolled 
a giant stone across the entrance of the tomb. Now, I know this sounds like a sad story, but because Jesus died on the cross, he made it possible for us to be friends with God. Because Jesus took the punishment that he did not deserve, we can now live a life with God right by our sides. So while this does sound like a really sad story, it's actually a really good news. Because now we can be best friends with God and that is awesome news. Don't worry because this isn't the end of the story. Next week you'll find out what happens next and what happens next is really amazing. But for this week, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to us. Thank you for his sacrifice of taking the punishment and dying on the cross. And we ask you, God, that you help us become the people you want us to be. Amen. I'm here with George and we are going to do our prayer activity. So in today's story, we heard about when Jesus died, the temple curtain ripped in two. And that that means that we can be much closer to God. So today, in our prayer activity, we are going to represent that. I'd like you to find a square piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, you're going to write about something that you've done that you know was the wrong thing to do. George, is there anything in your past that you've done that you know was a bit wrong? Uh, hit my brother. Yeah, hitting your brother is the wrong thing to do, isn't it? So I'd like you to write hit my brother on your piece of paper. Off you go. In the past, I know that I haven't always told the truth, so I'm going to write down lied on my piece of paper. When you've written down the thing that you're sorry for, you can pray to God and ask for his forgiveness. So as we pray, we're going to tear this piece of paper in half. Like, okay. Wait, like the temple curtain tore in half so that we can ask forgiveness from God <laughs> as we pray. So let's close our eyes and pray. Father God, please forgive us for the things that we have done wrong and help us to make better choices next time. Amen. And let's rip our piece of paper off. Okay.
what a glorious way that you.